All right, everybody, welcome back to Dead State Reanimate with me, Noble. Uh, I actually forgot to hit the record button, so I actually moved a little bit since last time. I was like, oh no, I forgot to hit the button! But yeah, I literally just shot this guy, Sanford. And uh, him and that guy has been wounded. That's pretty much it right now. And unfortunately for you, you fell right into my trap card. For you see, I was planning on blocking the door with a corpse. Or two or three. So, if you don't mind just standing there on fire, we'd greatly appreciate that. Oh, well, I guess I can't really hit you from there. Oh, well. Unfortunately, he is going to get shot at in just a second. Looks like he's got a sub gun. So, let's take down some of these ranged units. AK's probably the worst right now. Thank you for falling down. If you happen to be a zombie, please moan a little bit for me. Yeah, I know Sanford isn't exactly a ranged character, but I just felt like shooting him because he was standing there. It's a little sadistic of me, isn't it? I'm trying to figure out what he's wearing, though, because that is not any kind of armor I'm used to seeing in this game. Alright, so, without further ado, I need to pull back, because this guy's about to lay into me. We got ourselves, looks like a lever action or a hunting rifle. It's a hunting rifle, possibly. Yeah. Almost dead. Perfect position on EGN. Now, hopefully, your armor is going to take a bit of a beating from that. Oh, no! Wow, I'm glad he didn't take my head off with that move. I really need you to come over here and deal with this guy, please. Thank you for putting him in an almost dead state. Could you please finish the job? Dang, you just took it all the way to the edge of the fire there, didn't you? Thankfully, you put yourself... Oh, hi you there, zombie. Sanford's getting up. Really wish I had a hand grenade right now, because I uh, was not prepared for this situation to unfold the way it has. Let's go ahead and drop the sniper first. Then we'll work on SMG guy. Shotgun! Shotgun? Yay! <laughs> oh, I don't have any more Molotovs to hold this door off. Oh well. We'll have to shut the gate or something. Because we got all these guys to deal with next. We are technically blocking the door with downed people, so... You are going to be a problem. But not my problem. Eh, too much to reload that. But I can heal up nobody. Darn it. We definitely got some zombos to deal with. Hopefully these two will fight it out now they're next to each other. Nope, he still wants to attack me from behind. You jerk. Thanks a lot. No, I didn't actually mean thank you. Stop it. It was rhetorical. I'll take that. Hey, 
Hey, zombie. Uh, yeah. What? No, Vic. Vic. Faith, focus on Vic. Oh. Okay. 20%, 0%. That's not good percent. Uh, just reload. Yeah, don't worry about it right now. There's a chance some of these guys could turn into zombies. So I'll just take the shot right there. You need to reload. You're not really going to get the chance here in a minute. Can you shut that for me? No, you can't. Well, uh, thank you for playing. If you don't mind falling down on the ground, I'd greatly appreciate it. You guys are just so good at lining up for me. I appreciate it very much. This fire door has been very useful as well, but unfortunately I probably got one more turn before it goes out. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Yes! Doggies are going to be a problem, and I'm going to need Vic, or uh, Gats, I mean, to hold the doorway with the sh and uh, Vic to cover him while we pop everybody from a distance. Zombie or just a injured person with a gun? Injured person with a gun. Gotcha. There goes the fire. Okay, so we got to start setting priority targets. Badly wounded, you're down. Undamaged, undamaged, shotgun takes priority. Okay. Uh, shotgun takes down shotgun. Shotgun also takes down pistol. Okay, I need to heal my own character up. No! Oh my gosh, no! That was not acceptable. I was going to heal myself and then move over to heal him. We got a body blockade securing this doorway. No one can get past the corpses. But if they get back up, we got a problem. So we got to, you know, kind of fill the doorway with more fresher bodies. I already took your loot so I can get rid of you. Jeez, there's a lot of blood icons. We got at least three corpses on its way. Okay, so. If you don't mind moving up. Go ahead and just kind of hold the ground here. There we go. Can heal you now. Yeah, these guys are definitely going to need some healing. Perfect. Healed and reloaded. Come on, guys, fill in the gap before all these people die by bleeding out. Because once they bleed out, we're going to have a big gaping hole for you guys to walk through. That guy's got a grenade. Maybe pepper spray, can't tell. Okay, it's got a red tab, it's pepper spray. But as long as we don't let him get right on top of us, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, come back here and get ready to deal with that zombie. They're coming for my flesh. Twenty-five percent's not very good. 
So I'm going to come up here and start grabbing loot off these guys. Nothing? Okay. That'll work for me. Uh, there. Reload that shotgun. Move back up to your defensive position. And I guess you better come over here and help too. Good. Thank you for getting close. Now I don't have to worry about using one of the high-powered rifles on you. Now the shotgun can get you. Uh, I feel like an evil villain. It's like, yes, you're falling into my trap. Perfectly. <laughs> uh, but yes. You gotta use one movement point to get to me, zombie. Oh crap, he used that one movement point. What am I gonna do? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Uh, let's see. I feel like I need to clear a hole for these zombie or these guys to want to come through. So that should just about do it. Yeah, that'll work. So now you guys have a gap to walk through. Congratulations. So we got a gap right here. We'll leave these guys to keep that part clo clogged, and these guys here to keep that part clogged. And boom goes the dynamite. Still really can't hit them too well. Nah, we're not going to do that. Risking in this turn. Let everybody close in a little bit more, even the bad guys. These guys got to be like, oh my gosh, they took out half our vanguard, you know? Yeah, come on back over here to defend us. I feel like I need to give him a shield, too. That way he can rock the shield and the... Uh... Oh, you try to bite his let or his uh, tire-covered kneecap. Good job. See, now they're falling for the gap I left. I think this might be the end of the, uh, the people inside. Well, it's time to start cutting the hedges. Hmm. Brawler, experienced looter, and tough looter. I think tough looter should be shot first. Not really wearing any armor anyway. <laughs> Dog it is. Really sorry, pupper. It had to be done. You're part of the great clogging. Yeah, when you go with this guy. Good job. That's why I took a sniper rifle and an M4 or MS4 in this game with me. Just in case I needed them. There's still two more puppers left, but I don't know where they are. I must say, it should be some more zombies. Perfect position for that shotgun. Oh, he switched to a crowbar now. Hmm. No need. exactly going to let him stay there. Um, 
Can't really shoot you either. Zombie time, I guess. Ah. Well, as far as everybody in this area goes, they're down. Everybody is down. So, take this time to reload everything. I was counting on that to happen. <laughs> Ow, I got punched in the back of the head. Ah, I've been grabbed. Back to the more quiet stuff. Wounded, but not dead. That's like how I planned it or something. Now we're going to go about and loot every single body. Unfortunately... There's some guys still left. I can hit him with this one. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna have more zombies here in a second. Just keep on reloading, reloading, reloading into the future. Everybody's starting to bleed out now. Uh, what was it I was gonna switch that with? Nothing. Okay. Good. All right, so now it's time to loot the rewards of this adventure and massacre the survivors or completely miss them. Okay. Sorry, Puffer. I always feel bad about killing the puppers. You gotta be careful, because any one of these guys could actually be a zombie. And by zombie, I mean someone who hasn't died yet. Officially. Paul, how's your inventory? 87 to 90. 50 to 90. 46 and 90. Well, you're the one who's going to be doing all the looting and killing now. Ah, uh, Sanford. Motocross armor. That's what it was. Okay. I didn't understand what it was when I looked at it, but now it makes sense. Electric baton. Science fiction fans. Oh, I guess kind of like the uh, zap sticks we get in uh, uh, XCOM 2. I think this is going to be Paul's new baton. Yeah, we're going to have to do some inventory rearrangement for sure.
Grab the rest of Sanford's stuff. Jeez, this whole pile over here, we can't even get to yet. We gotta get rid of our inventory. This may be a, a two-tripper, just like the uh, other place. I still gotta go back and finish that off, so I might as well pick up all that loot at the same time. So give me a second to drop this stuff off. Okay, so I went ahead and dropped off a lot of loot. Uh, I still got some leftover stuff that I'm going to be basically shoving on these corpses to hold as my inventory slots until uh, I get back. Such as all this. Well, almost all of it. Things that I can make room for because all I'm going to do is trash them anyway. Just taking up space. Trade those out. We'll take all of it. All right. Stop clicking too fast. Got some carry the most gear anyway. Good now. We still got at least two dogs left. So, we gotta be extra careful, but there's one dog now. And who's this? Looter Sentry? You're a horrible sentry, dude. I just killed everybody here except for you. You know what, Paul? Just come over here and drop the stuff you don't need off. There you go. That way we can get to it pretty quickly without to come all the way back to the back. Yep, we're just going to ignore him and grab all the loot we can on this side. I guess this place is going to have a lot of gas. And a lot of, uh, scrap. I would assume that was a loot item, but it's not, apparently. It's kind of sad. It looks like a nice old chest of loot. And this looks like some kind of memorial stone. I can see the base of a flagpole. It probably was. They're just using that to fill in a scrap. Oh, dog sauce. Aww, bad dog. Bad dog. No, bad dog. Yeah, go ahead and set active. Oh, knocked him down. And just come over here. Here he comes. He's very apprehensive about coming over here. Dog is down and unconscious. I always check the dogs just in case, but they never have any loot. Almost like they're canines or something. Dog me carries items. I don't know why he can't. We have engaged in the beating circle. Last looter, I'm sorry. Good grief. I know I knocked him down. I didn't realize I just knocked him down and he wasn't even hurt.
Well, he wasn't a zombie, at least. I've played too much Kingdom Come to, to, come to look at that stew pot and go, hmm, yeah, I should go over there and just stick my uh, face in and eat out of it. <laughs> I like the Kingdom Come games, though. They're fun. I said games, but it's only one of them right now. Huh? I say, I know there's another dog, and I found it. <sighs> Ow! Fluffy bit me! Bad Fluffy. <sighs> Ow, Fluffy bit me again. Ow. Well, Fluffy is not happy with that. No. Ah, darn it. At least you got biting someone with good heavy armor. So I'm not too upset about that. Well. I'm sorry, pupper. Time to get the medicine on. Paul, you did good, my friend. You did good. I'm glad we got him a better weapon, too, because, you know, the baton is nice and all. There's four dog bowls, and I only killed three dogs. Maybe he wants water? I don't know. Nope, not going to carry that heavy-ass piece of equipment. Though, if I, uh, obviously I wouldn't have come here earlier if, uh... No, I don't want the rat. I want that. Give me that. Obviously, there's no way I would have been able to take on this place without any good gear like his sniper rifle and uh, SR4. So, I probably wouldn't have gotten that uh, blowtorch anyway. Not unless these guys come here after being defeated by us. That, that'd make more sense. If this is like their last stronghold after being defeated in all the other locations. I already know his strength is at 90, so I know he's not going to be able to carry that. Oh, man. I don't think I got anything out of the truck, did I? So I think I went the other way around. Nope. Did I get the pallets? I did. Okay. Now it's time to check out Sanford's house. Lockpick. Do not leave home without it, like I did to this episode. Go and sit active just in case. There might be somebody else here. I am curious whether or not there's any hidden stuff around here. feel like, uh, you know, with a bunch of bandits and stuff hanging out in the junkyard, you probably have some hidden loot. No, that would have come in handy earlier. Oh, eh, well. I did, get, I did hit that right. Yeah, that's what the nerve gas was. Toilet paper... Survive an apocalypse with it. Or if there was a way to actually get in here without ever <laughs> triggering any of the fights. That would have been fun. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. The next episode will be starting at the, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the shelter. So I'm going to get the rest of these items separated, figure out what I want to take back, what I don't. Next episode, probably be a recovery episode, possibly coming back to this location and the other location, grabbing the leftover loot. So, 
Thank you for stopping by and joining. If you like, hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you like it, drop a comment below. I'll get back to you. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody, and I'll see you in the next episode.